Well, Macon has a very, very unique memorial. Um, the men of the 151st Machine Gun uh, Corps served their country. Um, this memorial uh, commemorates 70 of them who sacrificed their lives. And we're at the centennial of the start of the First World War. Uh, now, the United States didn't join until 1917, but I thought it's helpful to start building that a memory of what an important struggle this was in the 20th century and that these young men from uh, this community and from counties around here came and served their country so ably and paid the ultimate sacrifice in the case of this memorial. Some of your students are that age and they came out here today to, to plant flowers. What do you think hmm. is touching them about this day? I think we all recognize that um, the freedoms that we enjoy uh, uh, here in the United States and in the Western world that they have been earned um, with, with the price of uh, um, a price of liberty that's involved conflict and involved paying the sacrifice. I think they realized that this was um, an opportunity to pass it, pass it forward, as they say, and that we're here today because of the sacrifice of others and so that we can uh, memorialize on this special day, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month is always known as uh, Armistice Day in Britain and here is Veterans Day, so we think this is a good moment to do that. A few comments about the war in which these men died. Now, this was known, became known as the war to end all wars. Sadly, it did not end all wars. But the devastation it wreaked across the world left 10 million people dead um, and did not uh, eliminate aggression and militarism. And it needed another generation, as the man noted in the Second World War, to resume that struggle. Uh, but this was a war that took its toll. For the United States, it began in 1917. For the Europe, it had begun in 1914. And on the 11th day of the 11th hour of the 11th month in 1918, the war thankfully came to 